Hi, my name is Elon. I'm the CEO and founder of Eggard Watch Company, and I'm working at home today due to the coronavirus. And I wanted to cover what's better, quartz watches or mechanical watches. So first, let's talk about quartz watches. Quartz watches are powered by a battery. They're called quartz watches because there's actually a little sliver of quartz in them, which gets a charge from the battery. What you'll see on a quartz watch is a second hand that ticks. It doesn't sweep. You'll actually see the ticks. Anyone who tells you that they have an automatic watch to sell you, if you see the second hands ticking, they're lying to you. It is not a real, real automatic watch and it usually means that the watch you're looking at is fake. It's a replica. So let's talk about quartz watches and the positives and negatives. So quartz watches started in 1969 from Seiko. It took a little while for them to pick up steam, but once they did, they really put the mechanical watch market at risk. Why? Because they're extremely functional, they're extremely low cost, and they're extremely accurate. Sounds like an unbeatable combination. So quartz watches, because they're battery powered, are extremely accurate, better than any mechanical watch you're gonna get. There are maybe exceptions to the rule where there are these incredibly accurate mechanical watches, but you're talking about absurdly expensive compared to a quartz watch, which is, you can get a quartz watch for 10 bucks, and it'll keep time unbelievably well. So those are the positives of a quartz watch. So what are the negatives? Well, not really much. Quartz watches have to have the battery replaced every three years, five years, 10 years, depending on what kind of quartz watch it is. And by and large, you typically, I would say the only other negative is that you don't keep them as heirlooms. They're just not perceived that way. So outside of those two things, outside of changing the battery and them not having perceived long-term value, there really isn't much negative about quartz watches. So let's look at mechanical watches. There are two types of mechanical watches. There are automatic watches and manual wind watches. What's the difference? One, you have to wind the crown. I have one right here and I'll show you. I just wind that crown right there. And you can see that the balance wheels are spinning. And the other one has a rotor on the back. As you can see here, there's a see-through case back here that shows the rotor. That rotor spins when you move your hand, when you walk, when you're doing things, and that winds the mainspring for you. So that is very convenient, especially an automatic watch because you don't have to wind it every day. As long as you're wearing it, it will keep time. Now, the negatives of an automatic watch and mechanical watch in general, manual wind, we'll jump into the negatives first here and then the positive second, because it's almost the reverse of a quartz watch. So the negative, mechanical watches are more expensive, by and large. There are some cheaper mechanical watches today, but by and large, in general, they will cost you more money. You will also see a sweeping second hand on a mechanical watch. That's a big indicator that your watch is mechanical. If the hand is sweeping, there's very few quartz movements that do that. There are some, but by and large, that is something you'll only see in automatic and, and manual wind watches. So the negatives are much more expensive, harder to maintain. If something goes wrong in a mechanical watch, again, it's much more expensive to fix. It's much more expensive to deal with. And mechanical watches need to be maintained. So that's point number two. And number three, they are less accurate. They, were, they are just generally less accurate than a quartz watch. There are some incredibly accurate mechanical watches, but by and large, you're not looking at the same kind of accuracy. So if you're looking for utility, a mechanical watch is not the way to go. So let's look at the positives. What are the positives of a mechanical watch? Well, it doesn't have money or in terms of cost going for it. It's not cheaper. It doesn't have accuracy going for it. And it doesn't have ease of use going for it because a quartz watch will just do what it does. You don't have to worry about wearing it, winding it, whatever it is. You can leave it there for a month. You come back to it and it's still running and keeping perfectly accurate time. An automatic watch, if you don't have it on a watch winder, it's, it's dead. And a manual wind watch, if you're not winding it every 40 hours, it's also gonna be dead. So it doesn't have that going for it. What it does have is artistry, is history, is an heirloom element that we were talking about earlier, a legacy that you can pass this down to someone. And there is a love for mechanical watches. So despite in a time where things are about function, we have our phones to tell the time. We have the time told everywhere at this point. So people no longer wear watches as a way to tell the time. They wear watches as a way to express something about themselves. And mechanical watches have taken the place of that accessory as being the way to express that part of yourself. Whether it's a symbol of status, it's a Rolex, people know the name, or whether it's just something that is so unique 
that it says something about you and expresses something about you. And that's where mechanical watches shine, as art, as something, an appreciation of work. And so if you're looking for utility, quartz watches are the way to go, but we live in a time where we have cell phones and cell phones are gonna do a better job than your quartz watch. But if you're looking for something with this idea of long lasting value, of something you can pass down to your kids, of something that is a piece of art on your wrist, of work, of workmanship, of something you can truly appreciate, then mechanical watches are the way to go. So there is no right answer here. It's utility, it's function, versus worksmanship and art. And so you have to decide, when, especially when you're starting a collection, what do you want? And there are some beautiful, I have some quartz watches which I absolutely love, just the design and aesthetic, and they were less expensive, and they're just wonderful. They're watches I can wear out as, I call them daily beaters, because I'm not worried that they're gonna take damage when I go out there, I didn't pay as much for them, and I just know that I can wear them, they look great, they're functional, I never have to worry about the time being off, and I just have them ready to go. And then I have my mechanical watches, which I absolutely love, and I wear those also, but I tr they're two different categories for me. So be aware of that, and that's the fundamental difference between quartz and mechanical watches, and if you're asking which one is better, it comes down entirely to what you're looking for. There's no right answer.